an electrode which is placed in the direction of the electric target wave front will record a positive deflection and if the direction of the wave front is away from the electrode it will register negative deflection. So after the understanding about the genesis of uh, cardiac electric current and the importance that an electrode which is placed in the direction of the electric cardiac wave front will record a positive deflection and if the direction of the wave front is away from the electrode it will register negative deflection. So to record the ECG and that is the electrocardiogram and to make it reproducible and uh, uh, consistent with the pathology or the physiology of the heart, it's important that the ECG is recorded in a definite way, in a standardized way and uh, this basically led to the development of electrographic lead system. And uh, as uh, we have uh, already discussed that heart is an electromechanical organ and which is made to work in a timed and synchronized fashion by an internal pacemaker that is the AC node and there is uh, an elaborate system of conduction system if in form of AV node, his bundle and Putinger system that uh, makes sure that the heart uh, contracts in a uh, synchronized way. And we know that uh, there are electrical events happen in the heart in form of depolarization and repolarization and it precedes the mechanical events. So the mechanical events actually follows uh, the electrical event and the mechanical event is systole and diastole and uh, there is always a electromechanical delay if you see uh, if you plot the ECG curve and the pressure curve of the heart you will realize this there is always a mechanical delay. So if you see a uh, depolarization and repolarization or uh, they both basically uh, determine the systole. So uh, it's not the repolarization is not the diastolic phase. So if you see the heart contraction happens all through the depolarization and repolarization and the diastole or the relaxing phase is that period when actually also the heart is resting electrically also. So in diastole there is almost no electrical activity or there is no potential uh, change in potential difference of the heart. But there are chambers in the heart. We know there are four chambers. Atria has two chambers, right atria and the left atria and the ventricle also has four chambers. But if you see electrically, heart is basically having two chambers. The atria and ventricle, they both are electrically insulated from each other and they you can say that they are basically uh, kind of independent from each other if you see electrical activity because the activity in the atria cannot directly go to the ventricle and the activity in the ventricle cannot directly go to the atria and for this to happen you need a connection which is there in form of AV node his bundle uh, the penetrating part of the his bundle is the crucial component that basically uh, transmits the activity uh, to and fro uh, that is the electrical activity to and fro. So if you see the heart so SA node is here, AV node is here and this portion is important which is the his bundle and the penetrating part of the his bundle which is actually important which uh, is like is, is, is an electrical bridge into the ventricle and you have the right bundle and the left bundle and the Putinger system. So this understanding is important to understand the electrical activity in various disease forms. But definitely uh, apart from this natural communication, uh, the electrical communication in the heart, you have at times uh, accessory pathways that may work as a bypass track for conduction of electrical activity to and fro from the atria and ventricle. So if you see 
the ecg basically depicts the electrical activity of the heart and uh, in which you have a uh, voltage which is represented in the vertical axis and the time which is represented in the horizontal axis and you register the activity in the atria as well as the ventricle but uh, definitely the atrial at depolarization activity is registered but the atrial repolarization activity is, is masked within the ventricular depolarization activity so you don't actually see uh, atrial repolarization represented on the ecg the voltage basically in the ecg depicts the summation of electrical activation of all the cardiac cell uh, as measured on the body surface so you can say is the net voltage that is generated on the uh, within the heart and which reaches the body surface but believe me this voltage that you record on the ecg on the surface of the body is much less is just 10% of what is generated in the, within the heart because you have various transmission factors the translation of the electrical activities which uh, result into decrease in this uh, uh, voltage so the premise for uh, having a standardized uh, electrocardiographic lead system is that fact that in a volume conductor the sum of potential at the points of an equilateral triangle with a current source in the center is zero at all times so this physics law uh, basically led to the development of uh, uh, the initial three standard limb li leads that the, we call the bipolar leads uh, by Inthoven and uh, Inthoven basically depicted this thing in form of uh, a representation that uh, a triangle can be drawn a virtual triangle can be there with the heart at its center and uh, electrode placed on the right arm left arm and the left leg and this is basically what we call as Inthoven's triangle and three standard limb leads what you have you have three leads that is lead one lead two and lead three so the leads here uh, the lead one records the electrical difference between the left arm and the right arm the lead two records the difference between the left leg and the right arm and lead three records the potential difference between the left leg and the left arm so what you have is and this relationship be based on uh, the fact that the, if you add up the potential of the three points will come as zero led to this development of what we call the Inthoven's law and this law is depicted by this formula that is one plus three that is the potential uh, recorded in lead one and lead three if you add up it will become equal to lead two so basically you can say that lead two represents the net potential and vector direction of the target activity so can you get this mathematically yes you can if you see here that uh, uh, by an example so as i told you that in the Inthoven's law triangle what you have is so this is the lead one right arm left arm and the left leg so you have three electrodes placed on these very limbs and you have a heart at the center obviously if you see here if you connect an electrode and one thing more important that it will not matter whether you put an electrode at the forearm at the uh, elbow or at the junction shoulder uh, this will record the same potential so it hardly matters because the body is behaving like a volume conductor and wherever if, even if you they there will be no change in the potential at what point you place on the limb so uh, it will not matter whether you have placed in the forearm and on the other side on the arm it will give you the same potential difference so this thing is to be remembered so lead one is potential difference between 
left arm and the right arm okay and lead 3 is the potential difference between the left leg minus left arm so if you add them up mathematically what you have is that left arm this one will cancel and you will have left leg minus right arm and basically this will give you lead 2 so lead 2 was potential difference between left leg minus right arm so if you add them up 1 plus 3 equals to 2 and if you bring it here 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 and minus 2 will be 0. So this is what you call the Intuvan's law and uh, the Intuvan's equation. So remember the Intuvan's equation is it is not 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 it is 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. So it can make a root question and uh, it, you can have uh, questions about what is lead one representation it's i know it's very simple but you can be asked about intuvan's law and intuvan's equation